All right, guys, and welcome to another video. So the Burning USA Classic has been out for a while and we're probably about halfway through the content timeline. And many people are looking towards the future to the frosty shores of Northrend. At least a good 70% of the WoW community always regard Wrathful Lich King as the best expansion and the numbers do actually back that up. And you can easily see why, you know, every spec is way more viable than it is in TBC. The raids are great and have multiple difficulties to keep you busy. You've got dual spec and a great story to top it off and many more features. In fact, people want it so much even now that the Wrath server has recently blown up quite a bit. But to be honest, the Wrath of Lich King private server scene has been really busy for nearly a decade, honestly. But when is the real thing coming? How long? will we have to wait and play TBC Classic for? We can only really make accurate estimations based on the length of Classic, how content came out in Classic, and how often it is being released now. The length of Classic was 19 months, so 19 months on from the launch of TBC would be early January. But I think COVID delayed the launch of TBC Classic massively because it complicated things around BlizzCon, so you can expect it to be a bit earlier, I think. In the survey for Fresh Classic, Blizzard asked whether people wanted Fresh Classic to release faster with a 12 month schedule or a typical 18th month schedule, so that semi confirms that every Classic expansion will be 18 months long, which will put Classic Wrath launch at early December, and I think that'll be fairly accurate, it's probably my prediction to be honest that it will come out in December, especially as Wrath Lich King is a little bit of a Christmassy expansion. If we also look at how fast content has released so far in TPC Classic, it's released every four months, but the most recent two phases were big content patches. I think we'll get four months of Black Temple and Hygel, then three months of Zillaman, that's a much shorter one, like we did for Zulgarub, and then somewhere for another four months, which is a total of 11 months, which will again put us at December. And financially, December makes a lot of sense since people will have more time off during that time and will be more influenced to play it. There's a chance it might come out sooner if some other big Blizzard release would affect the release of Classic Wrath like Retail did. But I think it's a good estimate to estimate that it's either going to come out one month later or one month before December. So November, December or January. I don't think it's going to be any earlier or later than that. But who knows how the Microsoft buyout will affect Classic WoW in the long run in the future for when Classic Wrath could potentially be released. It might speed things up, it might slow things down. They may take the project in a totally different direction if they gain a bigger influence of a Classic WoW dev team. They might just leave the current class Classic team to it, you know, who knows what will happen. Microsoft do seem like a more intelligent company than Blizzard. They will easily understand the hype and potential of Classic Wrath, and if they decide to have more influence over the project, I think they'll do a better job, and it doesn't make a lot of sense to me for them to be like, yeah, let's not do that anymore, because it really is almost free money, because they're essentially just re-releasing old content that they do not have to develop. But this buyout might influence the game very differently. Many people have said they're surprised I didn't make a video about it, but to be honest, I don't really see the point in making a video about the buyout, because what can I say other than something good might happen, something bad might happen? You know, we really do not know anything about how this Microsoft buyout will affect Blizzard and how it will affect Classic WoW. I'm not a clairvoyant, but hopefully Classic WoW won't be cancelled to work on a new MMO combining the MMO dev teams that Microsoft now owns. But even that might be a good thing, because we might actually get a new good MMO, and private servers will always keep the Classic community alive anyway, and let's be honest, we'll do a better job too. But anyway guys, that's where I'm going to end the video there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. My name is Amelia Goblin, to my next video, ciao.